Alrighty, we are back with some DCSS. I'm actually on my Linux box again today, believe it or not. Um, we're doing some some DCSS, so I don't exactly need the uh, <laughs> I don't I don't need the raw computing power of uh, of the box I've been playing Noita on. Uh, this is a special request run, and what we're doing today, I can actually just paste this into the chat, I suppose. Um, good old 30 FPS. I, you know, I'm pretty sure that I'm streaming at 60, but I could be wrong. We don't exactly, uh, <laughs> we, we don't exactly need 60 FPS for, uh, for the sake of DCSS. So that's okay. All right. So that got cut off a bit, but basically this is simpler. Uh, this is a simpler, request than it uh, than it might seem. Uh, all I have to do is play bcrawl, which uh, as you can see from the wacky species choices, this is bcrawl. Um, I have to play a demon spawn, boom. I have to play a chaos knight. Uh, which I thought I actually had my choice of gods and bee crawl, but I must be thinking of something else. Um, what's a sand dwarf? What's a spelunker? Yeah, well, these are uh, special bee crawl races. A sand dwarf, I believe, is uh, so B.H. Auth, also known as Gary Burton, is a guy who really likes hybrid characters. Uh, they're called gishes in D and D, um, characters that are kind of uh, geared towards casting and fighting at the same time. You know, in melee. And sand dwarves, I believe, yeah, it says they can. I think they just ignore encumbrance or something, so they can cast and plate mail really easily. Anyway, we're playing a demon spawn, we're playing a chaos knight, um, and we have to worship Jivya, which um, I don't know if Green Eggs and Slam, the guy who requested this, I I don't I don't know if he was under the same impression as me, which is that you could start under Jivya. Um, or if he actually expects me to start with Zom and then switch to Jivia, which I, I guess is the only thing possible here. Um, doesn't look like there's a start that starts under Jivia, so we're just going to assume... By the way, I don't know what a Spelunker is. You asked what that is. Enter the dungeon fully equipped for cave exploration. <laughs> um, well, whatever. We'll take the Chaos Knight. Uh, I am going to assume that the aptitudes are the same in B-Crawl. Let's just check. Um, aptitude. Demon spawn. Right. They don't have any weapons they're particularly good at. Okay, Leo. Yeah, Blokes posted the, the F-Sim thing. <laughs> um, you know, yeah, so... The only actual conducts of this run are we play a uh, Demon Spawn Chaos Knight, we have to worship Jeevia, we have to drink every potion of mutation that we come across, um, and there are no other restrictions. Uh, however, he did ask me, he did ask me to try to go towards transmutations. So um, what we're gonna do? All oh, right, I also have to get twelve runes at least. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to go unarmed combat. Now, if this was, um, I tell you, if 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 this was a streak game, uh, well, first of all, I wouldn't be playing a goddamn Chaos Knight. But uh, if if it was a streak game, probably the optimal thing to do uh, would be to go spears like I used to. But um, we're just going to go straight for unarmed combat. And if we're real lucky, <laughs> if we're real lucky, our demon spawn mutations will uh, will just give us claws or something, you know. Uh, and then we can have a real nice easy game. Um, what do I want to do here? I want to take stealth to two, probably. Like I do. Let's pull this guy to a nice quiet spot. Green eggs and slam wake up. Yeah, he's not actually here, I don't think. Which is odd, because usually he is up this late. I mean, I'm streaming... Uh, somewhat late, but it's not so bad. Hey guys, I still remember how to play DCSS. I just, uh, I just excluded off the dart slug here because we don't want to fight him with our crappy no weapon. Let's 
grab these stones. Hello. Hello. Thank you. Thank you for this tea. I reckon you started later. Oh, big time. Yeah, it's actually 11.30 here, but... Um, no, I've definitely streamed, like, way into the wee hours of the morning. Oh, Blokes is already going to bed. <laughs> Good night, Blokes. We found a dagger. I don't remember if things can be cursed off the floor in uh, in B crawl or not. The base damage is 4. Our base damage should be 3 plus 2.6, so we should... Well, three plus two, so we should have a base damage of five. So we should have more damage uh, on our unarmed combat right now. need be I will teleport leopard geckos are always deciding oh my god we just got early game easy mode we got sharp spines <laughs> now that is uh, that is cool this will be super super easy then uh, I will pick up these two things we probably won't use them because again I don't remember if things can be cursed off the ground we're now LARPing as a minotaur sort of yeah spines are just outrageous honestly spines are stronger than than minotaur minotaur horns I think even level one spines. Holy shit, this is scripted. I'm, I must be cheating. We just found a buckler on D1 as well. Okay, we got stealth to two. I'm going to. I think I'm probably going to leapfrog like unarmed combat and shields. So we'll. we'll We'll get to on combat to a nice round number, uh, and then we'll just whichever one's cheaper between shields and unarmed combat. We'll get. Let's see. I have twenty four HP. Zom has uh, kindly not messed with me so far. Shockingly enough, I don't really know why the scroll of teleport and the scroll of identify are already identified. I really couldn't tell you. Oh no, it's too easy now. You've got to reset. I refuse BTS. How dare you underappreciate the offhand punch? Yeah, the uh, the the people in DCSS who act like that you're like you're dumb if you if you use shields, even though they're like the most powerful thing. This guy got uh, let's see three plus four seven. He almost got a max damage hit on me with his uh, with his dart there. So that was mildly annoying. Am I not forced to be a Zom guy forever? Um, according to, according to the this is a this is not a tournament game. This is a um, oh literally forced by B crawl. Uh oh, shit! You're right. I forgot about this. Yeah, uh, B crawl has a wacky mechanic where you worship two gods at the same time. If you if you start as a chaos uh, as a chaos knight, I don't understand why I even have the ability to renounce religion. At least I think it's B-Crawl that does that. Sooner or later, uh, if you play enough forks, they all start to merge together and you kind of forget how things work. I would still really like to know how it is that I had Identify and Teleport um, auto-ID'd, but uh, maybe Zom gave them to me and those are identified automatically in, in B-Crawl, who knows. Anyway, yeah, we're going to be worshipping. Now I get it. Green Eggs and Slam wanted me to worship Jeevia and Zom at the same time. He didn't really... You sure didn't start with it? Teleport and identify? That would be pretty strange if BHOth put that into the game. I guess it would fix a lot of the early game issues that uh, exist in DCSS if like everybody just started with that, or maybe just Chaos Knights start with it. I'd have to restart to be sure, and I don't feel like doing that. What am I doing? I, I should have lured this. Mom is getting bored. Teleport on B seems like a start item. Yeah. Sam can drop hostiles on you on a whim. Yes. 
he may be about to do that, which is why I am... Well, I was chilling on the staircase, but... By the way, we unfortunately have Scroll of Amnesia. If I had been paying attention, or if I had played any DCSS recently, uh, I would have... I would have identified a potion, not a scroll. Generally, it's uh, better to do that in the early game. I just... Uh, <laughs> I was playing forays into Narendran, as you guys may or may not know. And if I play if I play a game that's even remotely similar to a roguelike that's not DCSS, my brain just kind of stops functioning. Uh, and I and I forget everything. But it comes back to me fast enough. Uh, let's uh, let's get strength for now. We don't have any spells. Our feet thicken and thicken and deform, so we're not gonna have claws today. Have a little guy in the chat here. I thought I might show them. Doesn't GV change your stats anyway? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He does. Bacadron Crawl did something sort of interesting with uh, with that recently. I know he's been hard at work. Not B Crawl, not to be confused with B Crawl. Um, Bacadron has been hard at work doing really interesting changes. Where, um, to be honest with you. Uh, GV is pretty broken and not not in a good way uh, with regards to the stats. He just does really weird stuff to you. Like you can end up with almost no uh, strength, intelligence, dexterity, depending on how it is you build your character. You just don't have a lot of control over it. So um, I kind of like the fact that, holy shit, he just got like a max damage hit on me. That's 10 damage, 5 plus 7, almost max. Oh, I'm invisible. Thanks, Jeevia. Oh, he's invisible too. But yeah, in the Codron Crawl, there's like more direct control over your stat changes now. I kind of, honestly, I, I kind of hope that, uh, I kind of hope that BHOth goes down the same path. My status says hungry. What does this mean? <laughs> I don't know, man. Turns out food exists. Okay, so that's a D2 Sky Beast. I can't really beat him. Hey, so I'm just gave me some horns. Cool. Maybe I can eat some delicious bats here. Nope. Oh, we got MR plus as well. Oh good, it's not willpower in this uh in this version of the game. Uh we do need to defeat this guy though. I mean I can do it, I just I'm I foolishly chose unarmed combat, so <laughs> at the beginning of the game it's not so good. The spines should kill him for me. Son of a bitch, he's rolling so well. Wait, what body armor did I start with? Plus two leather? Hmm. High tension. Well, yeah, that's why I was hoping that Zom would, uh, would just kind of act and help me out here, but he's really not doing a goddamn thing. I should just go downstairs, but I, it's just I know if I reset this fight enough times, I can beat him. Like most things in DCSS, it's just like a matter of rolling until you win. Hold on, let me make sure. How much damage? 5 plus 7, so he can do 12 damage to me, so he cannot kill me. Got him. Got him. Got him. Alright. Okay, unarmed combat to four. Feel energized by your suffering based. Yeah, right. Beastly appendage. Wouldn't it be nice if we had that spell? No, it is optimal to do 
anything other than playing DCSS. You are uh, unoptimizing your life when you play DCSS. Speaking of doing things that are not optimal, I just messed up and saw a bunch of goblins and didn't immediately run away. I should have known that uh, Mr. Robin was here. Okay, a couple of really nice, powerful gods. Gozag on D2 would be pretty sick, except I am not allowed to worship him. So yeah, what I was trying to say earlier and didn't, didn't quite uh, didn't quite get out of my mouth was that... Uh, shit, hold on. This is, this is too dangerous. I have to teleport. Okay, that was a bad telly, but that's okay. The butterflies are helping me. We just can't kill this thing fast enough to be to be sure. Dump character and seed. All right, but don't if if the seed does show up, don't uh, spoil me on anything in the seed, please. Oh, is that true? Yeah, that would make sense at least in mainline, because otherwise you'd be able to cheat when you're playing online. Got him. Oh, ha! Huh. Zom gave me horns, but my natural mutation was antennae, so I guess now we know what happens when you, uh, when you get a different, uh, you know. I was actually, I never, I've never seen this happen before. It just takes away the old one, temporary one, and it adds the one that you're going to have permanently. Either way, I can't wear Robin's helmet, which is, uh, mildly annoying. Well, you know, my uh, my my world record streak would be meaningless if you could simply play whatever seed that you want, you know, or look through your seed while you're playing. Oh yeah, I forgot to paste that. Thank you, Tony. I appreciate it. Anyway, we're playing a bit uh, a bit sloppy. Certainly sloppy for a Zom character. If this was a streak game uh, on mainline, I would be pretty uh, pretty concerned. Hey, we just identified curing with some of the mistakes that I'm making. However, we just found uh, teleport and we have two curing, so whatever. Um, a little bit, blokes. Although starting with uh, Starting with Spines 1 really helps quite a bit. I mean, it, it's certainly not an auto win because I'm still worshipping Zom, but it's really, really helpful. There's a certain amount of bullshit that can't happen when you have Spines. I have some very serious staying power in fights that otherwise wouldn't exist. Where I just kind of automatically kill things that hit me. Yeah, I refuse to play like a turn counter. I agree that would be optimal, since, uh, you know, Zom likes to stay entertained, right? So the more things you do in less amount of time, the better under Zom. So technically, if you, if you want to, if you want to streak, if you want to streak a, a Zom character, you know, if you're trying to win, if you're trying to optimize your win rate, uh, you really should probably never press the O key because, um, the auto explore algorithm is extremely, extremely uh, suboptimal. We almost have shields to four. We have unarmed combat to four. Cool, cool. No, I don't think I'm on a B crawl streak. I don't know how to check it either. There's a site for it. Uh, okay, this this ghost can hit for seven damage plus weapon of flaming, but there's there's nothing in this there's nothing in that vault that I want. So Whatever. Hey, book, book, book. Spider form. I can't imagine we're actually going to use spider form, but maybe. More importantly, we have blink now. Um, if I found this on a on a street game that wasn't uh, wasn't wasn't Zom, I would consider this almost like okay, I won the game now because uh, call imp just kind of gets you through all by itself. However, oh wow, thanks for the large rock Zom. Uh, however, I think I might just be incredibly greedy. Hello, Hypertelexi, how are you doing? Oh, uh-oh. According to the rules of the request, 
I have two potions of mutation, therefore I have to drink two potions of mutation as soon as I find them, according to uh, to the rules of, of what was asked of me. Uh, so this is, uh, it looks like it mostly took stuff away. We have clarity and we have um, strangely shaped body now. You feel stronger, you feel weaker. Hey, it doesn't do, what's up, man? Oh, hey, this, uh, that kobold was, was playing DCSS, DCSS optimally. He had a falchion, right? <laughs> Thanks, Ebering. Yeah. The old ruining of mutation potions. However, we're playing B crawl, so uh, at some point perhaps we could convince BHoth to undo some of that mutation potion BS. Okay, we went down and we immediately, um, Got B crawled, it says, near the exit of the stairs, a rune flashes. You stop descending the, sp the stairs, your surroundings seem slightly different. However, I've only been teleported one tile, so. Uh, I am, despite the fact that I'm in B crawl, and therefore risking getting teleported every time I take a staircase, uh, I am still going to stair dance things, because I still think, in general, that is that it is an optimal thing to do. So I can fight one thing at once, you know. Um, oh, hey, Gay Burton, what's up, buddy? I see I see the developer is here. We were just talking about, well, I was just talking about uh, maybe asking you to think about changing the uh, mutation potions closer to what they were before Ebering uh, got his grubby hands on them. Oh, whoa, ho, ho, what am I doing? I am just tabbing into a crimson up. These are these are bee crawl. These are bee crawl crimson imps. They have flame tongue now. Uh, yes, correct, correct, Gary Burton. Cause something. Um, damn, I was hoping he would he would actually shoot at me. Oh. Okay, we got teleported, which was honestly a good thing. It uses the breath timer. I didn't know that. Anyway, yeah, I just got, uh, when I drank a potion of mutation, doesn't he commented on the fact that I got stronger and then I got weaker, which um, really, I mean, in my mind, makes, uh, it makes potions of mutation really uh, silly, the fact that that can happen. Okay, so Ijib here has a wand of polymorph, which I'm less worried about than the dagger of electrocution. Um, technically, we have a, a sling. The whole mutation system isn't ideal. Yeah, that's true. Well, you've already done some... You, you've done some interesting things in your fork where you took out most of the sources of malmutate and now they're just temporary mutations. So, um, honestly, I, I, I wonder about the need for mutation potions. Um, I think the whole system really just needs to be overhauled. Hey, maybe you can refresh my memory. Is it possible for things off the ground to be cursed in this fork? Because if they can't, then I should be wearing this sling. Non-glowing items can be cursed, but always plus zero. Were those boots, by the way? Oh. Yes, I forgot that I picked those up. I, for some reason, thought I hadn't. Potion of unbeneficial mutation based. <laughs> All right, so we've been we've been bee crawled a bit with this telly. Um, we should be able to melee this guy with our spines. Yep. It only gives teleportitis. Yuck. It gives like all the worst mutations in the game. Antique weapons. Uh, wow, that is an artifact halberd. I kind of wanted to marry myself to using unarmed combat because uh, Green Eggs and Slam did say that he would like it if I went transmutations, but for the time being, we could just pop this thing on. Uh, how bad could it possibly be? Okay, that's pretty fucking bad. And it is cursed. I didn't expect it to be plus zero. I mean, it's still good for this floor. It's fine. It's just going to attack slow. Um... If I was playing optimally, I'm sorry, what? 
You are lethally poisoned. Zom's power touches on you. You feel incredibly sick. Huh. Okay. I have never seen Zom do that before. Oh, I should have I should have checked, huh, Gary Burton, to see if it was actually lethal. I may not have needed to drink that potion, I guess. Because waiting doubles HP region. Ah, you I forgot you added that. Probably just a poison miscast, yeah. Uh, according to the challenge request, I am forced to search for Jivia. But like I was trying to say earlier, I uh, it doesn't say it didn't say anything about when I need to worship Jivia. So I'm not gonna like dive for it, you know, suicidally. We'll just go Zom for a while and then we'll switch to Jivia as soon as we find it. Um, let's get some more fighting. No, I I didn't I didn't ask. Uh, Green Eggs and Slam didn't actually say uh, if I could go for different gods until then, but I'm just going to assume the spirit of the challenge is that I can't worship somebody who's not Jeevy, because otherwise I would be um, motivated to sort of uh, go for Gozag for most of the game and then swap to Jeevy at the last minute, so we're not going to do that. Uh, we don't have Remove Curse, so we're going to pick this up, but we're not going to wear it. The Dork Lord, how you doing, man? go up it would be cool if we found an early jivia altar but as best as i can tell b crawl pretty much follows the same rules as uh as mainline uh maybe i should have identified scrolls to look for remove curse we have a couple rings and stuff now yeah uh well we we probably don't have remove curse now although this plate is uh i believe guaranteed plus zero so uh, we could, we will, in fact, pop this thing on. Gosh, I don't know, actually. No, we're going to keep the, the plus two leather on. I'm guaranteed an altar at slime entrance based. Very good. Hello, Iguana. Now, we found a uh, wand of disintegration now, so... Under normal circumstances, I really would not have worn this uh, halberd. I knew it might be cursed, and it did turn out to be garbage, but uh, we're not streaking, so I'm taking a few uh, liberties with, with playing optimally. And it's still quite good. You know, it had to be branded, right? So um, it worked out pretty much as, as bad as it possibly could, but we're still, it's still very good, you know. Wanda floating eye removal. Well, we could use it on this guy too. See, look, we just one shot at him and we have no pole arms training. Now, if this was... Uh, Again, if this was a streak game, and for whatever reason I found myself in the situation where I'm holding, wearing this halberd, which I, I wouldn't, but let's say I did, uh, that would be, actually, honestly, I, I might, <laughs> come to think of it, I might, uh, I might think it is optimal to wear something like that, to wear ID something like, like that, because it's, uh, it's an artifact, so like I said, it's guaranteed to have a brand, so the absolute worst case scenario would be a plus zero halberd of protection, I guess, which is still pretty, pretty good. Um, so yeah, maybe I would wear it. In any event, I would be training, uh, what do you call it? I'd be, I'd be training pole arms, but I'm not doing that because I'm being very greedy. Uh, a jib drinks a potion, a jib is suddenly more resilient. Well, that's not going to give you MR, so we are just going to kill you with disintegrate. Oh my god, based. Holy based. Yeah, you know, I tell you what, uh, we'll try to play this game a little more optimally, and uh, maybe I will start... This will be the beginnings of my grand old B crawl streak. Slain by an orb guardian, that sounds correct. I, I was probably doing something very silly. Unless I 
set out to play really optimally. I generally play a little bit like a madman. Uh, this guy... Can he one-shot me? 13 or 17 plus uh, giant club, which I think is 20. So only 37 damage, but I attack slowly. Um, that was a Che game. <laughs> uh, fuck you, Zom. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm actually going to roll the dice because I don't care. Whoa, hold up. Yeah, uh, wait a minute. 3d20 damage on the explosion from disintegrate. Disintegrate makes fire now. Uh, yeah, so what I should have done is I should have teleported as soon as he got hasted. Or as soon as he noticed me. So that was uh, horribly suboptimal, what I just did there. Flight potion. Uh, flight potions only make you... I know that they speed you up in B-Crawl, but they only uh, make you swift, right? So... He would still be faster than me, right? And then... You know, he could do quite a bit of damage to me as we're running away. I had some distance, initial, distance initially. Yeah, that's true. Uh, yeah. Um, although he noticed me and he would have caught me. The thing is that the way that stealth worth works, unless you've changed it, is that no matter how fast you are, it's every single action you take in their, uh, in their vision gives them a chance to notice you. So he, uh, he noticed me, you know. Uh, Spindar, what you do is you go into the menu with M, then you press equals, uh, and then you press, let's say I want to put fighting at a break point, I just press A for fighting, um, then I put in whatever I want, and that's where the target is. Water would have made him slower, that's true. That is true. I guess I could have tried to, like, get far enough away that the, that the haste wore off, but I, I doubt it. No problem, Spindar. Um... Gosh, I'm going to take this to a break point, and I'm going to take this to a break point. We can take this exclusion off because we already killed a jib. Got to identify, um, I'm going to identify scrolls I would really like to have. Remove curse. He probably cursed that halberd for me, probably. What What bad luck it is, by the way to buy an unidentified artifact and have it be plus zero. This is exactly why I generally don't roll the dice on stuff like this in games where I'm uh, where I'm streaking and playing optimally and especially not limited by Twitch chat uh, requests. Got him. Okay. Um, let's take evocations to at least three, because we do have, you know, we have this this disintegrate wand, which is a very good get out of jail free card, free ish. Also, uh, again, if this was a street game, I would be memorizing something probably. Uh, I'd take. Let's go ahead and memorize. Actually, call imp. I mean, hell, I'm in. <laughs> I'm in leather armor, so I mean, I have a fifty percent success rate already, so. We can make something work there. Green Eggs and Slam, the guy who requested this run, did not say that I was limited in any way with regards to the magic that I can that I can use, so. Whoa! Zom just did a fireball and it didn't even kill the Sky Beast or do any damage to it. Uh, okay, we killed him. I'm gonna take evocations to five, actually, and we're just gonna melee this dude. And then we'll go up. Well, we might want the plate uh, until we start transmuting, you know? Again, if this was, if this was, uh, if this was a street game, you know, and we were playing optimally, we wouldn't have gone unarmed combat at all. 
Okay, what to do here? Let's uh, take a step. Well, I don't I don't have to use T moots. So that's not actually required. Uh, it was just kind of a. It, it would be cool if this could happen, but I try to go above and beyond when people make requests. What is a dazzling orb? Uh, it looks like it's got the same symbol as uh, dazzling flash. Three globs of brightly glowing magical energy, easily dodge, deal no damage, will stick to and illuminate, uh, obstructing its vision if it relies on light to see. Okay, so it's, it's just the same thing as Dazzling Flash. Um, hey, Zom just gave me a teleport scroll. So, hey, did you guys notice how I moved in such a way that caused this basic bitch uh, orc to stand in front of the wizard? And then... You know, that meant that even if he has Confuse, he can't Confuse me, you know? Now we're actually going to wait a turn. Just kidding, the orc died uh, on my spines. I was going to wait a turn so that I could try to swing on this thing with my halberd from across the way. But the basic idea is to keep some dude between you and the enemy. What in the hell's going on here? Um, it doubles the wearer's natural recovery of magic power. That might be cool on a different character. That's pretty sweet, actually. What an interesting idea. A genuinely useful piece of equipment, I approve. Uh, that, that actually creates really interesting strategic level choices, because if you can get a robe that helps with your mana recovery, um, and you're a caster, you know, a lot of newer players especially kind of feel like they have to... Uh, if they're playing a caster, they like have to go Vacuumet or something because they think it's going to help them restore mana really quickly, uh, or they have to go Sif Moon would be the actual choice for that. Uh, but really, you don't you don't need a you don't need a god that uh, restores mana, and I think the robe will kind of help with that situation anyway. And yeah, we got a lamp of fire. It's really sick. TC runs. Yes. Yeah, that's going to be really interesting for TC runs. How much... Okay, I was going to check how much damage the imp could do, but I... accidentally tabbed into him and he died anyway, so... I want to say that pain is 1d14, depending on hit dice. Uh... Oh, shit. You're right. I do have to... I do have to get a bunch of runes, don't I? So I, uh... How many runes did I say? Twelve? Pan restriction isn't a big deal for demon spawn. Oh, are, can demon spawn just, just go in regardless? Is that like a racial ability? In uh, B crawl? Oh, you level slowly, I see. So I'm just, uh... Mutated the crap out of me. Boy, we already have a billion mutations. <laughs> By the way, one of the reasons the uh, plate AC sucks so bad is because we have half AC from body armor. From base armor. Okay, I'm going to keep identifying scrolls because I'm... Uh, very greedy for remove curse right now. Notice how I'm using positioning. So those, uh, those fellas had to come to me, doing the most important thing here, naming my tomahawks with the correct name, inscription I should say. Uh, I do have spider form, it's true. Honestly, I, I'm just getting fighting instead for now. Uh, wow. That is a plus five longbow. That is, uh... Pretty goddamn sick. That would just let us walk through most of the game. Alright, that's fine. He'll die of the poison. Yep. Okay, there's a throwing net available. I should go ahead and buy that. Now we have two. 
But yeah, honestly, unless you've done something to make spider form better, uh, I really, 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 if possible, like to avoid using it. Highly evasive, poisonous bite, vulnerable to poison that looks the same. I'm just really not a fan of it. I mean, it's, it's not a bad spell if you start as a transmuter, but... <laughs> spider form is permanent at three. Well, that that's the thing, is I, I don't think I want to be a spider forever. <laughs> or, or at all. I mean, it's vulnerable to, uh... Oh, this guy got charmed, okay. It's vulnerable to poison, and it's... Essentially, it's vulnerable to damage. Oh, right! B-crawl hippogriffs can, uh... Wind blast me and pull me away. Or pull me towards them. Gotta be careful with those guys. Those guys are force multipliers. You can still end it. I see. I think I'm just gonna hold out for a mutation spell that I that I like, and in the meantime not, not spend experience on learning a spell when I can just dump it into fighting. What, what in the fuck is happening? Oh, okay, so I'm cast uh, shenanigans. It's a spell I never use. It's the uh, Lita's Liquefaction. You've probably never seen it either because it's a spell that nobody uses. <laughs> Yep, hey, we have a remove curse. Okay, so we're gonna wear this leather armor. It turns out it was cursed, so I was making the right choice the, the right choice by not uh, not wearing it. We're gonna wear all of our rings. We see that one of those is cursed too. We're gonna cast um, remove curse, yeah, I agree, pure man. We're going to wear our buckler again. Yeah, exactly. I mean, and the thing is, I they're actually a good example of the difference between mainline and B-Crawl in another way, too, which is that B-Crawl is not afraid of creating interesting force multiplier monsters where there weren't any before. Um, I really actually like the fact that they can shove and pull you because it, may, it creates this really dangerous enemy in the relatively early game, which um, is not actually that hard to deal with if, if you're careful. But you you do have to be aware of it, you know. Uh, Alright, so we will have protection on all the time and not see invisible because I want the RF. We're going to have see invisible all the time anyway once my uh, antennae level up. We have enchant weapon. Um, you know, I tell you, I'm just going to enchant the dagger of electrocution. And we're going to we're going to actually use that instead of trying to punch things at four unarmed combat. I have claws? What are you talking about? Since when do I have claws? Oh, I do have claws. I have claws one. That's from Zom. Not exactly the, um, the best claws mutation. You want to have claws three if possible, but yeah, I guess I should. Let me, um, Use the dagger for a little while. I guess we'll get unarmed up to like 10. Unarmed makes daggers better. Sorry, what? Is that a B-crawl thing? What are you talking about? I don't see anything in the tooltip. in the dagger description. They find it to be more effective than larger or more complex weapons. You get a you get a base bonus damage increase, really. That is a curious interaction. I think that you should put that in the unarmed combat uh, description in the skill menu as well. Yeah, I see that. The base damage of a dagger is supposed to be 4. I was, I was curious what that adjusted base damage meant. That's really interesting. So in theory, if you if you train 27 unarmed combat and 27 uh, short blades, you would have... Would, would, would that be the highest uh, DPS in the game in B-Crawl now? Use the strength and skill too? Huh. I don't know how I feel about that. I feel like you've, you've maybe transformed daggers into the best thing. 
Oh, hey. So I'm just giving me an animated weapon. My mutations feel more permanent. Okay. That just means that something that uh, Zom gave me. Oh! Hey, what's going on here? Wait a minute. It didn't say that I feel... It, well, hold up. No, it didn't say that I feel monstrous. Usually it has to say that you feel monstrous if you get three... See, most demons spawn do not get three... Uh, I know what happened. Our claws became permanent, and our we also apparently have feet permanent and antennae. But when I started this game, it didn't say you feel monstrous. And there's two kinds of demon spawns. Uh, a small amount of the time, you become a monstrous demon spawn, and they get three physical mutations. But most demon spawns only get one. So unless I missed the message, which is supposed to show up the first time you uh, you 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 get a mutation as a demon spawn, a long-term mutation or a demon spawn mutation, I guess it's called. Then I guess I don't know what's going on, unless that's something you changed in the in the fork. I suspect you missed the message. Entirely possible. Well, that's certainly good for what we're trying to do here. Because we are going to have Clause 3. Anyway, I have a suspicion that this dagger is still optimal to use for the time being. Not against this guy. He's immune to electric. Oh, potion of mutation. Remember, I have to drink. I have to drink potions of mutation as soon as I find them. I can compare base damage to my percentage unarmed damage. How do I look at percentage unarmed damage? I just go for base damage, which is three plus uh, three plus the skill plus uh, two per level of claws, so our base damage right now... Oh, shit. Hold on, my internet just died. Boo. One second. Right, I will stop the stream, uh, well, I'll stop the recording, and then I'll just combine the two in a moment. Okay, this seems to be fixed. Let's just uh, get right back to it. Sorry about the interruption. Yeah, that does happen sometimes. Oh, <laughs> hold on. I need to refresh this window. Back to playing bad games again. I'll have you know that this is. Uh, I'll I'll have you I'll have you know. That this is B crawl, not mainline. So. Uh, not exactly. Okay. Um, had to refresh the window. So if you go on arm and hit percentage. You see unarmed damage using the same scale as weapon adjusted base damage. You've been a busy, busy beaver, haven't you? Uh, I don't see it on this on this screen. I don't see the new thing. Oh wait, yes I do. How in the fuck would my base damage be 15.4? It's supposed to be 3 plus weapon skill for unarmed combat. So, uh, rounded down I think. So, 6, 7, 8 plus 2 for each level of claws, and we have claws one. So my base unarmed combat should be five plus three, six, seven, eight plus two is 10. But this is saying uh, 15.4. Oh, it's including, it's including the strength of fighting. Okay, that's not, so that's not the base damage. Well, I guess the base damage is what gets um, that stuff applied to it. Interesting, so you're, you're really going all out to, uh... by the way, this should really be on this screen as well, don't you think? If you're going to have it for the claws, you should, or for the unarmed combat, you should have that number over here too. But in general, uh, yeah, no, I, I like that, the fact that it, it just reveals more information. So now we see that our base damage is significantly lower on the Dagger of Electrocution. Now, that doesn't take the brand into account, that's just the base damage, but um, I think I am going to just use my unarmed combat now, to be honest with you. Is 
since we're, we're training a bunch of unarmed combat right now anyway, so it's okay. I went ahead and let myself get marked because there's a staircase right here. Which I guess is um, less uh, safe than if we were playing mainline, but <laughs> I could get teleported. Oh, hi, Mark. That was less of an oh, hi, Mark, because I uh, didn't get surprised by it because this isn't mainline. Yeah, we got invis while marked, which is kind of cute because technically they can't see you, but they know they seem to know where you are, you know? Oh, imagine how excited I would be if this Brodax showed up on a game where I wasn't going on to combat. Casual D7 B crawl. Uh, broad axe. Kind of cool. Okay, so we... Uh, hmm. We have these rings, and I don't have any more remove curse. I'm actually going to go ahead and identify one of them, because they could be handy. And it's a ring of poison resistance. Which we currently have from mutations. The reason I'm super duper cavalier... Um, about using identify scrolls in B crawl is because once I get my first rune, everything is identified from that point forward. So, identify is a resource that uh, I don't want to say it doesn't matter in B crawl because it certainly does. But uh, do I like ID scrolls always being known? Um, I'm on the fence about that change. I, I actually didn't know until just now that that was the case. Are teleport scrolls always known too? Is that what happened to me early on? Because I, I had I had um, I had an identify scroll identified um, on D1 and I had a teleport too. And I don't know if I just started with one or or what. I was kind of curious what was happening there. CK starts with tally. Okay. Um, so I think that there is... Uh, a certain amount of skill and thought that goes into the ID minigame, and part of it is deciding how it is that you want to handle your first, um, you know, your first few moves before you have uh, identify available or known. Um, certainly, uh, certainly, that there is an argument to be made that it's uh, the better the way that you have it. I guess I'd have to think about it. Um, I guess I'd say that I'm not sure. Let's pick up Ice Blast. We certainly do want to get a box of beasts at some point, um, but we're going to just buy the... Actually, we're going to buy Paralysis, and we're going to buy the Flame. Now we're just like a big baller shot collar over here with all these wands. Holy shit. This Yak's not messing around. He's dabbing on me. Um, I mean, that's true, Anani Badger, but at the same time, a lot of uh, the roguelike experience is um, sort of uh, dealing with randomness by playing optimally, and then and then it's not as random as it seems. You, you know what I mean? So by way of example, um, by way of example, I know that... Um, I know that Identify is really common, I know that Teleport is really common, I know that Fog is really common, so if I have a big stack of crap, of a particular type of scroll, I mean, um, then I can make educated guesses, you know. Yeah, I have plus five reflection, which is why we're not going to be using Gourmand today. Hard to, hard to pass up five points of, of shields, you know. Can I go toe-to-toe -to -toe with an elephant? Hell yeah. Makes the early game reliably easy. Yeah, I like that. I mean, it, it, it's it's strange for me to just not... You would think that I would knee-jerk immediately say, well, like, yeah, of course I like it. And for the, the purposes of the early game, I, I do I do like it. But, um, yeah, it's probably a good change. It's a buckler for my buckler base. Reflect has a minor effect. Could just be removed. Oh, man. Do you know that? I, I still believe that's the real reason they banned me from the sub. Is because I humiliated them with that post. And so they waited a little while. And then they looked for the first excuse they could find. To, um, 
to ban me because that the thing is that post got like like hundreds of upvotes uh so they couldn't just pretend i was some idiot um like i think it was like a month or two before i got banned it uh it was a post about how they had they had made this like utterly uh just stupid github message about how they were they were removing uh reflection amulets and it was it was just like the post was the post that i made was all about the fact that these people have no idea you know the 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 specifics of the game that they're developing like they they have no uh, there's like no reason that they should be anywhere near developing this game uh, near the GitHub, near the keys to the GitHub, because they don't know what they're doing. Because they said that, uh, what was it? I don't remember the verbatim, you know, the exact quote, but they said something along the lines of reflection is like a minor effect uh, that by the end of the game, you probably don't want or care about. And they were referring specifically to uh, reflection amulets, which also give, you know, bonus shields. And I just came in and wrote a post that was like, look, I, uh, you know, I wear these things to the exclusion of pretty much every other amulet on every single one of my win streak games. You know, so either I'm just a big dumbass who is somehow luckily winning all these games or they don't know what the fuck they're talking about. Yeah, 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 yeah. They, they, it's like classic Dunning-Kruger. These people are so confident in the way that they state things that are just like dumb as hell. And I, I know that sounds kind of mean, but I don't know how else to phrase it, man. Like, like it is just dumb as hell. And, and every single one of their commit messages reads like this. And most of the time, it's just like pure Dunning-Kruger. They think, they think that they are so much smarter than they actually are. And it's kind of frustrating for somebody who actually knows what he's talking about when it comes to this game. Um, to, see, to see them so consistently just get it wrong uh, and be so confident despite consistently getting it wrong we're gonna use the lamp here hey we got level two spines oh come on paralyzed him yeah that's the post honestly i'm shocked that they haven't deleted it they probably knew exactly how bad it would look for them if they if they deleted that post Whereas uh, when they finally did find something that they could use as an excuse to get rid of me, you know, there was less of a of an outcry about it. You're gonna you probably should archive it because they they honestly these people are so um, oversensitive that you know and sort of narcissistic that I I would not put it past them to go past go into the past you know a year or two and delete anything that criticizes them too much, you know? Uh, let's see. I'm going to walk backwards like this. Nine months ago, yeah. It's been a little bit. Um, what was I going to train? We were probably going to get a little more evokes. But not too much. So I'm telly. There's a, um, there's a volcano on this floor. I see lava. That's probably not the vault, but it might be. Yeah, that's just random lava. That's not the vault for a very distant avalanche of rocks. So presumably we're pretty far from it. Just random lava. I remember um, when Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead would just kind of spawn lava randomly on the overworld. There wouldn't even be like a portal nearby. It was just lava through the center of a house and stuff like that. Uh, I did not mean to use acid there. I, I meant to do something else. I meant to paralyze him. Failing our paral uh, paralysis many, many times. Just a splash of acid as a treat. <laughs> yes. Just a bit of salami. Uh, just wanted to mention that Jeevia slimifies scales with Envo and gives permanent allies. Okay, so Jeevia has changed. I hope you took out the stat changing or made it 
more uh, controllable by the player like Bacadron did. Jivio was never the best god. <laughs> Jivio was the, the most... Um, I mean, it was a powerful god that you kind of never wanted to use for a variety of reasons. But, I mean, I won't, I won't, uh, I won't disagree that it te technically is pretty strong because you can essentially erase any, uh, any enemy that you want to. As long as it's living or undead, but not demonic. Uh, timed floors needs tweaking. Maybe so. Uh, I kind of like that it... Honestly, I like time floors because they... It really speaks to the nature of DCSS where it is a mechanic that encourages you to potentially do something stupid in the, in the pursuit of loot. Um, and I, I really, really, really like that. I really like that this game um, does an excellent job of trying to trying to goad you for the sake of loot into into doing a thing that doesn't necessarily make sense or it could make sense but the thing is you've got to be knowledgeable enough um about the game right to be able to gauge you know can i successfully do this which is um honestly if you look at like the the really really dumbass um gamma funk vaults where there's uh, zot traps everywhere he he tries it's it's like watching a, a caveman trying to like it's like a cargo cult type thing where people once visited an island with planes and so you, you'll you'll get like a primitive tribe that you know starts making uh headphones and stuff out of wood and mimicking the people who were uh get you know trying to get the planes to land uh because they think that there's going to be like more cargo that shows up right i don't know if you guys have heard of this it's called a cargo cult that's what modern DCSS development feels like because if you if you look at those vaults uh, with the Zot traps, it's like they're trying to mimic, for example, the idea of um, port portal vaults where you've got a timer and you've got to decide if you can, uh, you know, you got to decide if you have the resources and the power to, to get there to rush through the level to get to it and get the loot. Only the problem is that it's it's not the same concept at all because um, instead you've just got this thing, this like ugly lump sitting on the floor. Uh, that's like, don't ever go into me. It is never optimal to go into this place because there's Zot traps and they just kind of kill you regardless of anything um, if, you, if you're foolish enough to go in. And so the only time it ever makes sense to go get that loot is if you have some way to cheese it, uh, which is certainly, I, I don't think was the intentional, the intentional thing. I think it was actually meant to lure people in the front way, but um, it's just like kind of speaks to somebody who just doesn't understand uh the game that they're developing you know which is what happens i think in open source when you have one group of people make something then another group of people take over uh it's you just you're just bound to have a certain amount of um telephone game happen there and eventually somebody incompetent gets in charge unfortunately uh that's not the same thing in any badger zot traps the problem with Zot Traps is that they can just sort of paralyze you regardless of anything and then you just die potentially, especially with those vaults where there's like 40 of them in line of sight. And there's ways you can sort of limit the nasty things that happen, but you cannot guarantee, you know. I mean, maybe, <laughs> Tony, I would actually be more okay with that maybe as long as they could only trigger one time. Uh, alrighty, so this is... Uh... We've just go, gone into the vault, which I, I I think this is the one with wizards, right? Yeah, this is the one with wizards. So there's there's no way, no how that this is... How the fuck? What? Oh, I can evoke fog with my clouds, my scarf of clouds. This is bee crawl. Anyway, yeah, there's there's no possible way to make this optimal. Um, if I just hang out in here, I mean, if we just look at... Let's take a look at... Uh, the wizard, a rather eccentric person, dabbing in all sorts of arcane oddities. Just kidding, he's dabbing. Uh, he just does too much damage, basically. He's got LCS. He can he can kill me in one hit. Uh, I have no faith in B-Crawl. Well, unless you guarantee these people... Uh, wait, which was... None of these books are okay. These, uh... <laughs> oh, unless you took the wizards out. Maybe you took the wizards out. Is that what you did? of this vault. <laughs> I was going to say, like, if they're wizards, they've got to have one of these books, right? 
Zop traps now trigger every time you spend a turn with them in view. Oh no. Alright, I'll have some faith in Beecrow. We'll take a look. Oh. Okay, okay. It's uh it's deep elf mages now. That's okay. Well shit, you fixed you fixed a, a massive error in judgment in whoever originally made these volcanoes. Well done. Normally I just get this uh, vault and I'm like yeah, fuck this. But uh, this this is okay. We can I'm sorry, what? Come on, Zom. Give me a break, Zom. Oh Gauntlets of War. We just teleported into the to the to the last thing. However, there's a Mace of Flaming here and Toenail Golems. I don't trust it. I'm gonna I'm gonna just go ahead and berserk. Yeah, Z Zom's a little bit of a dick. Awesome. Gauntlets of War. Super duper sick. Now, unfortunately, uh, here's the here's the bad news. Yeah, Tony Tony's on top of it. Tony knows what's up. <laughs> the bad news is we uh, we get memed on a bit by the fact that we're not going to be able to wear this forever. Probably shouldn't have worn that fire resist. That could have been cursed. Yeah, I'm going to keep my leather armor on because we still get our AC halved. Don't you love being a demon spawn pest race? <laughs> now we could still take a chunk of damage from these dudes, but my bolt of draining just kind of memed me a bit. Something I could be doing is, oh my lord. Oh no. Okay, there we go. Not the best polymorph I've ever seen. I was going to say something I could be doing is uh, using MR targeting uh, wands on those guys. Bro, do I have... Oh, man, I have Powered by Death and Powered by Pain. So we we uh, we heal when we kill things, or we get regen anyway. Demon Spawn, yeah, I mean, I totally get the enjoyment of Demon Spawn in DCSS because you get the promise of, you know, something cool could happen. Something really cool could happen, and I don't know what, you know? Who knows? Maybe I'll get Hellfire, you know? Well, actually, uh, Draconians, I mean, if you get, like, a Fire Draconian, your game is pretty much set out for you, you know? In a way. But, yeah, I mean, you're right. If you get, like, the White Draconian, then... You might be a little bit sad. Dude, my defenses... I have trained, like, no defenses. It's time to get on top of this. Actually, I'm going to be totally crazy and not train any armor at all, because it's not like I'm wearing armor right now, right? Uh, I'm not going to take any chances. I do not have resist cold, so we're just going to... Kill this guy as soon as Ice, Ice Devil goes away. Cool. Cool story, bro. Demon Spawner growth characters. Yeah, that's the thing. On D1, you're kind of like a crappy human, but very quickly, it, it becomes a bit of a power fantasy, you know, where you get to, you get to feel really strong. Oh, wait, I have Might right now because of Powered by Pain. So for anybody who doesn't know how this works, Powered by Pain, every time I take damage, there's a chance I might get Agility or Might or something uh, applied to me. And Powered by Death, every time I kill something, I get a stacking regenerative effect. So um, I'm a bit of a big baller shot caller now. Whoa, okay. This is how Zom likes it. He wants me teleported. Okay, 80% chance of blink failure. Not sure what changed exactly. 
Maybe the shield? Uh, n no. Might just increase his damage. Hey, Mr. Ostrom, what's up, man? Where is Green Exit Slam? He's not actually here to see his request, but he I'm sure he'll check out the VOD. And this, it's not like this, it's not like this run is gonna, um, you know. It's not like this, this run is not gonna last more than one session, so it's fine. Uh, okay, so Zom teleported me in the middle of all this bullshit, and I'm extremely unhappy about it. I don't really want to blow a telly because I only have two of them, but we're going to have to be a little clever about this if we want to not use uh, resources that I care an awful lot about. Um, I sure wish I had Lamp of Fire not inert. Okay, that's cool. And then... Damn. Okay, that's fine. We're going to move like this. I could MO. I, I do have RF, so it would be doing 3D 20 divided by 2, so maximum 30. Why fists? Well, because I I have Gauntlets of War, which turned off my Claws 1, but eventually I'm going to have Claws 3. So, Also, um, there are some conducts that Green Eggs and Slam has asked me to do here. One of them is uh, he he said he preferred if I use transmutation, so we're gonna work we're gonna work towards that. Um, hmm. Okay, we're gonna actually acid here. I'm sorry, what? Motherfuck. Zom made the thing invisible. I have to kill him before he wakes up. Oh boy. God damn it, Zom. We were we were having such a good time. There's gonna be a one in twenty-seven ish chance that I get put to sleep here. So we're just gonna take him out with the with the oh ice blast. I'm not above ice blasting myself in the face if I have to. Not exactly guaranteed to work, but close enough for government work, as they say. But yeah, big uh, big props to Gary Burton for fixing that vault. I was definitely about to walk out of it, the, vol the volcano vault. Well, uh, sleep is actually how... Um, Oh, I don't think I've mentioned this on stream before. Um, but Elliptic was gunning for the world record streak again, trying to take my title. And he lost it recently at, I think, I think 36 wins. Um, and he lost on a Spriggan, which is actually the species that he lost on before, which is sort of, sort of ironic. Um, but he lost a Dream Sheep. Yeah, he splatted a Dream Sheep. Um, and I looked at the, I looked, I looked at the, the, the log or whatever, and then I watched the TV of it, and it was, it was definitely his fault, because he, he tried to walk away from them instead of, I guess he didn't recognize it was like a really, really, really dangerous situation, and of course he got, you know, he got put to sleep and double damage to death, but he, he died with a bunch of fear and blink in his, uh, in his inventory, and it wasn't like he got slept from, uh, from, uh, from the edge of the line of sight, you know, um, did I train throwing? No, I didn't train any throwing. Technically, I probably should have. But whatever. Um, we don't have very much AC, so actually going toe-to-toe -to -toe with him is probably a mistake. I need four for 1.0 tomahawk delay. Yeah, we probably should do that. Um, gosh. Uh, the funny thing about Acid Wand on these guys is like, Oh wait, they have AC. Since when do Hydras have AC? Maybe B crawl added this. I was gonna say there's no reason to acid them unless you just want straight damage because uh, they have no AC to take away, but... Well, that's really weird. He's covered in acid, but there's still a pip of AC showing there. So I'm a bit confused. That was pretty dangerous. I wouldn't have done that on a uh, streak game. Only have single digit wins. Just uh, just farm up some uh, some mibbies in GMAT. 
<laughs> some some deep dwarf artificers, perhaps. The DCSS community is kind of funny. Like, uh, there's a guy named Kunix who's a pretty cool guy. He uh, he's done like two separate thirty nine streaks of just DD Fi, which um, I really can't talk trash about because my when I was first learning to streak in this game, like half my games were deep dwarves and centaurs and stuff. So. I mean, it's definitely a different, uh, different class of, uh, of game, uh, where if you're, if you're playing no repeats and reasonably hard combos and stuff, it's, you know, nobody's going to argue that that's not harder, but at the same time, I mean, there's, there's definitely some challenge there where it's like, you couldn't, you couldn't sit a newbie in front of DCSS and, uh, have them just like crush the game just because they're playing a deep dwarf, unless it was somebody... Somebody like Tone, I guess, who is really, really familiar with roguelikes already. You want to win on a non-melee tabber? Well, I, I tell you, I mean, there's no question on my mind that play, playing a caster who stays as a pure caster and doesn't use transmutations is uh, definitely the hard mode of DCSS comparatively. Um, especially if you stay in robes the whole game. Double, especially if you don't use uh, summoning or... Uh, necromancy if you just play as a blaster caster then that's like that's like the ultimate dcss hard mode experience really outside of playing a che character and i mean i mean real difficulty not like bs random difficulty like playing as a, a zom worshiper blaster caster is mid mode what would you say is the worst then doesn't he shit melee is hard mode <laughs> well I guess I was, uh, I guess I wasn't really thinking of, of intentionally ruined characters. Like, yeah, if you want to, um, if you want to really make life as hor horrendous as possible for yourself, then just play a, a deep elf, uh, fighter or something. Play like a deep elf gladiator. Don't even give yourself the shield. Okay. We have our poise already, so we don't need this ring right now, but that would be pretty good to have for later. Mummy fell and deprived. Hey, I won that. I won that. The goofiest of combos. Felid Berserker. I I like Felid Berserker. I think that's a legitimate combo. Uh, which I realize sounds ridiculous, but um I mean it's kind of annoying to play, but I would I would rather play a Felid Berserker than a than a deep elf fighter, you know. Go home now, come your trunk. I mean, I had a horrible time with a fellow Berserker once, but it was straight up only because I was uh, trying to do, like, special CD, uh, what is it called? CSDC rules. I I think that fellow Berserker is salvageable, too. Fellow Berserker is never not a cat. Well, the thing is that fellow Berserker is the one Trog worshiper where it's safe to abandon Trog at some point, because you have extra lives. So you could just you could just be a stone cat later if you'd like to. Granted that takes a good long while to get there, but what you want you want me to play a fellow berserker? I'll play a fellow berserker on my streak if you want me to. Uh, the only problem would be in the very very early game. No, fellow berserker owns D1. You uh you should have enough HP right to survive a hit from a dart slug. Doesn't it have... Uh, I doubt it. I'm sure it has Felids in it. I mean, I don't really like playing Felids because of the fact that they have low HP on D1, but Felid Berserker bypasses that. Um. God, this is a long list. What? Where the fuck are my Felids? I'm sure I have at least one. There's a Felid Conjurer right here. I don't think there's any other Felids. I've, I've probably assiduously avoided playing Felids. D2 gets ugly because Orc Priest. Yes, that's true. That's true. Although you should have... The thing is that you're faster than everything, so you... You should... You know, um, you, you should be able to walk away as long as they don't instantly kill you. And the other thing about that is... Uh, I mean, you should have enough HP to not get one-shotted, right? 
Okay, I'm sorry. How did this door open, and why is there a Moth of Wrath? You can't leave Trog on a felid? Sure you can. Why not? Well, yeah, you have a big stack of teleports and enough extra lives, uh, and about enough defenses, you know. You, you'd be fine. Enough stealth. So I'm open the door. I don't like it. Okay, we just emoed. Uh, we have dodging to ten. I guess I'll whatever. I'll take I'll take throwing to four. It's really cheap, really inexpensive. Uh, yep. I don't usually do that, but I I know I probably should. There it is. We got it just by killing that little group. That is a dangerous moth of wrath next to a uh, dire elephant, which is why I spent some resources taking it out. By the way, Zom made us invisible. How come this uh, manticore is just so smart and doesn't want to go into the, the fire? <laughs> this this Zom invis is turning out to be handy, I suppose. Oh, come on. There we go. Bro, tomahawks of poison are so sick. And I guess in bee crawl you get like a billion of them if you find a single stack. Of course, they always mulch, but it turns out better, I think, overall. By the way, we have shoals, so honestly that, that throwing training is going to come in handy. <laughs> yeah, Tony, we, let's get throwing to four. Okay, we got throwing to four. Control F for mutation. Oh, when did we find that? You guys got to keep me. Uh, you got. You guys got to help keep me honest on this because sometimes I will just not notice that I picked one up. You know, I guess I could add mutation as a force more uh, in my RC file. But yeah, according to the rules of the challenge, I I have to drink those as soon as I find them. So. Uh, I think we'll just put on the plate mail now because we no longer have broken AC. Oh yeah, Zom does this kind of crap to you all the time. It's great. We're actually resistant to further mutation, but I, I bet you that won't last forever. <laughs> I'll go stop cheating. This is... No, you play enough Zom characters, you'll see this pretty pretty often, actually. You'll just as often see an entire sheet of red, though. Just, like, bad mutations. But it's, it, skews, it skews towards good if you... Um, if you don't piss off Zom too badly. If you keep him entertained... Oh, was there a shield? Yeah, I guess there's a large shield. Probably won't use that just yet, but... Harpy has our poise. That's fine. I was just wanting the damage. So hopefully we find Jeebius soon. From what Gary Burton was saying, it seems like it is uh, guaranteed to be soon. Something I really like about B-Crawl is that when you uh, when you drop something like a Wand of Random Effects, it automatically turns it off for auto pickup. If you have both hands free, do you attack twice per turn if you're using Fists and Claws? Not exactly. So this game has something called Ox Attacks, which has just like eternally confused newbies. Um, so an ox attack is anything other than your main attack. So you could have like uh, extra tentacle attack as a as an octopode, or um, you could have like the talons, your feet talons that Tengus get and some demon spawn, um, like the horns, you know, of a minotaur. That's that's an ox attack. Um, the way that claws work is does two things. One, it just increases your regular attack damage when you're unarmed and gives you like an accuracy bonus too. Um, two. 
it gives you another ox attack, right? If you're not wearing a shield. So here's how ox attacks work. Every time you attack with your with your main hand weapon, which could be a spear, it could be unarmed, it could be a dagger, it could be anything, there is a chance that every time you swing with your regular weapon, one or more of your ox attacks will, will trigger as well. Um, so your offhand, your offhand claw attack is something that can show up. I don't care about it as compared to shields because shields are just f fucking awesome. Um, but uh, it does mean that if you do have ox attacks, it is uh, it behooves you to maybe try to have like fast attack speed, which is why I think it's kind of cute when you get a yellow draconian to uh, go for quick blades or something because you can get a bunch of acid bites. But the thing that confuses newbies is that they think that uh, they think that unarmed combat helps with ox attacks, and it doesn't. It has no impact whatsoever. The only thing that matters for ox attacks is uh, how fast you're attacking because it's more chances for them to, to, to happen. Um, anyway, we got uh, Petrify started here. I'm going to walk away from him, and it's going to give him more turns of walking towards me so he's not hitting me, right? But yeah, we got like a, a really powerful combo of mutations here for, from being a demon spawn. Just really good. Yeah, here's the thing about DCSS. This is a game that punishes you way more for taking too much damage than it rewards you for doing a lot of damage, yeah? So in general, if you can make the defensive choice, that is the correct choice. That's not always true. It's not always true. It's just, it's just often, it's just often true. And so the thing is, shields, um, defense is the best defense. Not always true in this game, but nine times out of ten, yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, in the late game, that doesn't hold up quite as well. You you really do need to take out the thing that is uh, tormenting you every every round, for example. But in the early game, I mean, the thing about shields is like it can block so much crap. Every single melee attack in the game it can block and just stop it from doing anything. Uh, can you say cucked? Uh, the, the day that Twitch takes away the word cucked is the day that I throw up my hands and just go to a different platform, even if I can't have an audience there. Um, they, can, they, can, they can take my life, but they can never take my freedom. Um, anyway, yeah. Shields are good. Oh my, this isn't what I was hoping it was. I thought this would be the entrance to slime, and instead it's this bullshit. And there's a guy in there who's going to open up the door if I try to close it. So we're just going to do this, and we're going to do this. Oh, hi, Mock. I'm not marked, though. So I used acid. I was hoping to lower the AC of both the Catablepus and the Death Yak. In fact, we only got the Catablepus, but that's okay. We're just going to swing, and we're going to win. Um, I didn't really mind the... I could I could have, yes, I could have used the fog to prevent uh, the petrification gas from showing up on my head, and that was probably, yeah, yeah honestly, you're right. That probably was optimal to do. I just, I just didn't. Requisite gin for watching Malcolm. Based. I also like gin, my friend. Okay, so we're not going to pull an elliptic. We're going to walk away from these. They have a higher chance to put you to sleep for however many are on the table. But if there's only one, it's a pretty low chance. 1 in 27-ish. Honestly, I think, I think it should be 0% if there's only one on the table because that's uh, less RNG, more tactical. Lignify gives immunity to sleep. That's pretty cool.
It was dangerous for me to tab this stuff, but I didn't see anything off screen, and I'm my AC is pretty okay now, so. By the way, we should check our memorization. Uh, the only transmutation we have is the new infestation. <laughs> um, which I haven't tried. Maybe we'll just use that for fun. And spider form. It's not a real TM. Spider form and Yara's unraveling. Why, why would I try to com combine those two things, I wonder? We can try to punch the Hydra with the fists, but... I don't trust it. Just kidding. We just one shot at his ass. I'm actually glad that I'm not attacking him with claws right now, because I would be cutting his head off. Uh, actually, maybe not with Claws 1, I'm not sure. Yeah, I tell you, I, I really I really don't like Spider Form. Um, I don't... Does it, e does it even get a base... Uh, does, it, does it even get a base um, damage increase? Well, can't you just cancel Spider Form whenever you want? Uh, Yara's turns off uh, enchants and transmutations. Okay, so... Gary Burton, please bring back... Please bring back praying. Let me press P to join religions, please. Um, yeah, no, that that's, that's the thing. Anani Badger, it was... Uh, that's the request, is that I was supposed to worship Jeevya. Uh, it's not for you, but if you want to enjoy it, that's cool. Um, here's the thing about B-Crawl. I am worshipping Jeevia and Zom at the same time for the rest of the game because I started as a, uh, as a demon spawn. You'd never get rid of Zom as a, or excuse me, because I started as a, uh, Chaos Knight, I should say. Right, let's look at what it is that I can do with this gentleman in B-Crawl. Okay, so he gives our core as normal, mutates as a game piety as normal, shuffles attributes as normal. It says you can shuffle your attributes, so I really hope that that's active now and not just passive. Uh, it says hunger and piety, so I assume it is based. Jeevia toughens your body as you become more mutated. I don't know what that means. Um, you can turn your... You turn your foes to slime... Yeah, that's normal. Uh, you expel jellies. Seriously injured, that's normal. You can call on GV to remove harmful mutations. Um, I don't see anything new here, except for the fact that shuffle attributes looks like it might be an active ability now. Slimeify is very different now. Uh, okay. This looks to be the same to me. I guess it wasn't invocations based before, maybe. At least I don't think it was. Oh, is there a chance now? It's not a chance to turn them into friendly slimes. Ooh, it used to be guaranteed, didn't it? Why would you why would you nerf that ability, I wonder? But slimes are permanent allies, they're not neutral anymore. Okay. And they actually follow you around. That's uh really interesting. I'll have to play with that. and see how it works out. Now, technically, it would be optimal for me to, like, run up and down to a dungeon and let my slimes eat everything, and perhaps I'll eventually do that, but 
we're going to go for the entertaining thing, not the optimal thing, which is that I'm going to go ahead and finish Lair before I do any kind of shenanigans like that. Shouldn't I be in Slime right now? No, not unless something changed in B Crawl, because I have to have uh, Max Piety before GV will open up the doors for me. Hey, uh, Gary Burton, I have a suggestion there. Oh, shit. Hold on. These Goliath frogs are are no joke, actually. <laughs> Let me deal with this first. Uh, piety is not kill-based, I don't think. No piety for item eating, just kills. Okay, I'm wrong. I cannot rush to high piety. have a record of low-level rune snatch. That's cool. Oh, Saffir stole it. Dude, Saffir is, is, is famous. He's uh, he's really good at that kind of thing. Okay, I need to get away from this guy. Um, and he's actually really, really dangerous. So we are going to put him in a net. And we're just going to kill him in the net. Okay, so my suggestion, Gary Burton, there is, you know, twice a day a stop clock is right. So, uh, Mainline actually did one thing correct, which I think I kind of like the fact that when you hit a plant in Mainline, it starts to wither and then just dies instantly a few turns later. There's possibly nothing worse than trying to spam into a plant to make it die. At the same time, uh, I could understand on, on a tactical level uh, not being able to just erase plants, so uh, I guess I would get it if you didn't like that change. So I have to deal with my slimes eating things. But I don't get any reward for it. Hmm. Unless I still get HP, I guess. And sustenance. HP and sus. You won't get random slime spawns eating things. And yet, and yet, I didn't summon any of those slimes. Get one when you join, I see. So why do I want to feed them arrows if I don't get piety for it? Or, or anything, really? just for the minor heals and kill stuff for you. These are these are pretty pretty small slimes. <laughs> uh, I should probably train some indications at some point for the sus, huh? train transmutations why not feed them some ammo stacks and orc and you'll see well yeah i guess the little red guys will will do okay but then i mean do i really want them to steal my experience or are you saying something something wacky is going to happen that i don't know about yet I mean, they've eaten a lot of stuff on this floor. I, I feel like we would know it, you know? I think I'm being memed. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. That's not good. <laughs> Uh, I should probably teleport. Actually, eh. And I'm just going to do this.
Lampifier is good, you guys. But remember, according to the mainline devs, Lampifier is not good and it's too hard to control. Did you know that? Did you know that's how the mainline devs feel about Lampifier and that's why they removed it? How about that? Did you guys know? Um... Okay, Mr. Mr. Demon, help me out. <laughs> why does the game... Hey guys, why does the game become harder when you remove all the bad items? <laughs> that's, that's a question for the ages, Tony. Uh, did the Hydra get stereotyped? I think Zom did that. I'm playing reasonably quickly, though, so... Oh, boy! Oh, this is some bullshit. I could die instantly. Let's, uh... Let's read a tally on this. We're getting dabbed on by these staircases, man. I guess this situation wouldn't be possible if you put in the the plant uh, insta-death thing. So I re-explored this twice and we didn't find the, the torpor snail, so... I don't know what's going on there. Slimeify someone. Well, we don't we don't have Slimeify yet. We don't have high enough piety. Um, I have uh, Request Jelly and I have Evolve, which presumably is randomly swapping my attributes around. Yeah. Well, thank you for making that uh, active because otherwise it just kind of ruins things. Wait, what is... Why do I have an Ice Beast? Oh, Zom. Uh... Z Zom is polymorphing my my slimes. That's cute. Uh, you know, and Jimena, I I don't think that entrance is as bad as you think it is. Personally, if if I was gonna remove um, if I was gonna remove any entrance for Lair, it would be the one that spawns. Uh, it might it might be the one that spawns uh, Hellhounds or maybe Wargs they're faster than the player but with death with death hacks you can kind of just see them and drag them all around the level and leave them somewhere you know i do i do agree that it's like a pretty nasty trap for uh people who haven't you know if, if you if you haven't if you haven't seen too many death hacks before it's kind of like a a check to see you know uh are you just tabbing into things because if you are then the death yak is going to completely ruin your life at that point, but, um, honestly, I'm pretty happy when I see the Death Yak entrance vault, because it means that I have a very powerful, but slow and dumb type of enemy that, uh, my character might not be able to easily handle at that point in the game, but probably isn't going to die to, because I know he's not going to outrun me, right? So, uh, I can walk him around the level a bunch, and, um, I'm sure, Inji Man, I'm sure you've seen me do that wacky trick where... Hey, that's mutation. We have to drink it. Uh, that wacky trick where I have, like, a venom weapon, especially a dagger, and then I attack them. I get to... I get them to... What do you call it? I, I get them to... As poisoned as possible, then I take three steps, and then I get them as poisoned as possible again by swinging again and take three steps, and... On almost any character, you can kill Death Yaks that way, as long as, um, as long as, you know, they, they miss a reasonable number of times or don't do max damage to you. Just waiting for that AC to hit. <laughs> okay. I am curious myself. Uh, oh, oh, it gives you AC based on how many mutations you have. That's going to be sick. Holy shit. I wonder if that includes demon spawn mutations. Well, but that's the thing, Anani Badger, is that in this game, if something is speed 10 like a death yak is, then as long as you're not a slow species, you can just eternally reset the fight until the RNG works in your favor. It's super tedious. Don't don't get me wrong. Um, but <laughs> yeah, I realize that probably sounds like, like dumbass advice, but um, I don't know, man. It works. I can just have all this stuff. We're going to crush this part of the game. In fact, let me just... 
<laughs> okay. Okay. This is like mildly dangerous if certain things show up, but for the most part I can just I can just tab this shit. Oh, there's the AC. Let's do Shadow Dragon Scales, boo! Actually, that's okay, we'll find that eventually. So how much AC are we getting, I wonder? Um, toughens your body as you become more mutated. I'm rather curious, it seems like an awful lot. Let me just, uh, actually we can test this. Okay, so I have um, I have no armor on except for my plus one gauntlet, so that's uh, two armor. So I have 17 base AC, uh, minus my ring of protection actually, so I have 13 base AC. One from one of these mutations, the fur, so um, what did I just say, 13? So 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Well, it's not one per. No mutation potions. Drop the sin ring. Yeah, I, I probably should. Because I have seen invisible forever now. Heavily mutated draconian DRTM of Jeevia. You would still need stat form if you or uh, dragon form if you ever wanted to have guaranteed damage reduction. But yeah, that could be that could be super fun. Do we have magic mapping? I'm gonna use some double stacks. Hey, the first one I tried. Maybe I am cheating. Okay, I'm not trying to auto explore here. Beam ban Malcolm Rose Gaming. Um, it is it is a nerf, Tony, but it, it does kind of um, bring it more in line with the other gods. And while typically I despise that kind of streamlining, um, I think that GV probably needed it, especially since... Well, see, I don't know. I'm on the fence because it 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 kind of it kind of sort of um, you can't get GV right early on. Uh, so it, it, usually getting that piety immediately high was like a trade-off for the fact that you went, you went without a god for most of the game, right? Or for the first half of the game. However, it was also kind of tedious to run up and down the stairs, and, and the piety was just sort of awkward in the way that it worked, you know? Um, so I, I think I like this change. Uh, I think that Jeevia probably still needs work, but I'm going to withhold judgment on that until I play a game with it. I do kind of want to use slime and fire real fast, but let's uh, let's use it somewhere that's not a portal vault because allies are real stupid in portal vaults for whatever reason. Wait a minute, do I have remove curse? Yeah, I do. This game is loving to give me plus zero artifacts today. I need some invo first. I got some. Remember, uh, Demon Spawn have 10, or excuse me, plus 3 invocations, so I can get mine to 10 really quickly. We have 8, so... I mean, I don't know what the chances are, but I imagine it's not undoable. Plus 10, yeah. <laughs> imagine if you had plus 10 aptitude. <laughs> Yeah, that is interesting. I think it's because they're they're like a divine, or I guess you could say profane species. So so they're like because they're close to the other world or whatever, uh, the you know the other the uh, other side. I mean, I can kind of see the reason for that. Okay, we got a um, got a scroll here. Um, Manual of shields. I mean, that's a no brainer. Or 
course. Forget transmutations for now. Let's, let's get the shields up. Ring of Zom was an ice wand or an ice ice ring, or else I would have taken it. Although, to be honest, it might have been optimal because having uh, Arlek all the time would be kind of nice. Oh, I have to buy this. I have to drink it. The jelly growth is reabsorbed into my body. No, we lost more mutations than we gained, so my AC went down. Feel resistant to potions. It didn't say that. I hope it didn't say that. Is that a thing? <laughs> Potions will always be attacking us. Very well, we'll check the log. Um, gosh, how far, there it is. You feel less resistant to poisons. Poisons. Pretty dangerous to melee that guy, by the way. I mean, with with text on the screen flying by at breakneck pace, uh, that's a pretty easy mistake to make. Careful they have crossbows, that's fine. forget is there only 10 dungeon floors now or is it still 15 i think it's 12 actually yeah it's 12 this 27 boost amogus i think this uh i think i think i think amogus has uh infected my brain i'm no longer the malcolm that you once knew I just uh, sit in my computer chair all day chanting Amogus to myself. Mutation potion. Uh, clarity's gone. Oh boy, we just got robbed of a bunch of mutations. Boo. I need to drop things. We're going to drop the large shield. We're going to drop the boots. We'll never be able to wear boots again. Drop this leather armor. Uh, that's good for now. I think we can go ahead and go get the rune. Okay, here it is. Uh, Slamify. All right, a little bit of a complaint, Gary Burton. If I use Slimeify and I hover over Nergal, in mainline they now have this thing where uh, things that have a chance of happening show you what that chance is if you hover over, if it happens on attack, right? Um, so uh, Confusing Touch, for instance. If you could... Uh, it's not a fixed percentage, it's based on HP and damage. So do I just... I mean, is it intended that I just don't get to know? Oh, it's based on the damage that I do. Oh. So if I just like kill her with Slimeify, does is she gonna turn into a I guess she just died. Well that's underwhelming. Can you request a modded Slay the Spire run? Yeah, as long as I can get it working on my on my box. Um, okay, so we, we killed the cockroaches, and I'm noticing that Slimeify does not go away when you transform something, so that's new. Kind of cool. Whoa, my god, that scared the shit out of me. Jesus Christ. That was probably louder in my headphones than uh, than for you guys. I just have this dangling donut, man. Whew. Fuck you! Yeah. yeah. Fuck you! Yeah, yeah. You fucking no-brain pussy! Fuck you! <laughs> okay. That's our first blink scroll, by the way. 
and our first fear scroll. So the two best scrolls in the game, uh, we had to live through all of Lair and most of Dungeon without it. That's kind of interesting, huh? On a Zom run, too. I think that is the first Spire request run. Yeah, um... Okay, you want me to play the Downfall mod. Might want to just adjust that noise. The, the Rage noise. Or the Kaka noise. I mean, the problem is I'm playing on my uh, Linux machine. Well, yeah, it's just like nobody has requested a, a run of that before, so I probably just didn't know it was loud. I want to slimeify stuff like yak bands. Maybe. Um, there's my shadow dragon scales if I want to get some money together and buy it for the uh, sake of the... Uh, for the for the sake of the trove. Cause OP, please nerf. Getting intelligence now because I, I would like to uh, get transmutations at some point. Make two more caca if you want. <laughs> Only if you actually want me to play two more games of Slay the Spire. We have RF plus plus, so I'm not too concerned about meleeing that guy. Hey Gary Burton, what do you think about mainline uh, making it so shit like Cyclopes have uh, infinite ammo? Okay, we're gonna put on Slimeify. Okay, so you can turn Orc Knight into a slime creature. I guess if you made enough of those, you would have... Uh, Titanic Slimes. I'm going to turn invocations on again. I think we need a little bit more to do cool stuff. Do I get experience for slimifying things? Because i got to tell you, it almost seems like more trouble than it's wor worth if I don't. Downfall mod is going to be a thing you do not want to miss. Alright. What's my unarmed combat? 15, which is uh, pretty good. Yeah, we just, we put up Slimeify, and then we hit the, <laughs> we hit him, and then he proceeded to just sort of die. What, my, my unarmed combat? No, it's 15. I train an awful lot of unarmed combat, usually. When I'm going for an unarmed combat character. Tam, huh? Uh, you know what? Fuck it. We're gonna be in a robe. It's got MR on it. Okay. Um. Well, that would be negative mutations that would happen, Tony. But I guess I guess I would be. <laughs> I guess I'd have more AC doing that. Yeah, if, if I would say fifteen uh, unarmed combat by the end of Lair, if you're if you're gonna if, if for some reason you're married to the idea of doing unarmed combat is uh, pretty pretty legit. I don't care about magic regen. I have SH and I'm happy with it. Uh, this looks like it's just gonna be fat stacks of cash today. Oh wait a minute, hold on. Okay, no, the spell that I want is not in here. I thought this might be the one with deflect missiles in it because this is uh, B crawl, not mainline. Hello, Francis. I don't really think that it's going to let me slamify him. We could try. Uh,.
Eh, I don't really want to be next to him. We have Blink, though, so I'll just uh, open up with a poison, and then we'll... Albert of Freezing, huh? That's no joke. We just bounced his Shard of Ice back on him, and we killed him. I did make a mistake of reading second scroll before getting Claws 3. What are you saying to me? Oh, I see. Acquirement. Yeah, yeah, that's... Hmm. Well, when does Neo Acquirement uh, decide what the items inside of it are? When you, when you read it or, or when you pick up the scroll? Because that's kind of interesting. And if, if you were to get, because uh, the thing is, you're right, it's not supposed to give you, it's not supposed to give you items that you can't use, right? So would that item actually change once I get, you know, once, once I get the claws? Probably not, right? Slimeify here. I don't. I don't believe in Slimeify anymore. When I when I get invocations to fifteen, then we'll do it. But it's not been doing anything. So you said it's based on what, like max HP and my damage. Green eggs and slam. I'm 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 almost done streaming, bro. <laughs> you you arrived so late. This has been a pretty fun uh, pretty fun game so far, actually. Slime creature is my friend forever. No, I get it. It's it's cool to have permanent allies. Uh, it's really interesting, actually. You've almost you've almost turned Jivia into like a slimy version of uh, what's what's his uh, what's his name Biog. So I imagine that there's some fun stuff possible here. Uh, Redemnul. I was well sure. I would say Biog more, but I know no, I guess about the same. Yeah, Redemnul, whatever. We can't summon things. I guess learning. Uh, Recall, if it still exists, would be perhaps useful. These are our mutations, by the way, Green Eggs and Slam. We had more before, but I had some problems. I have dutifully been drinking every mutation potion. Do I have D-Missile? Oh, I do. Cool. We might use that at some point, especially once we get to late game. Um... So, I've been robbing myself of piety using Slimeify a bunch. Whoa, whoops. Uh, okay, whatever. I accidentally fat fingered the keyboard there. So it has to be it has to be six star piety to break this stuff down, huh? Yeah, so we would have six star piety if I had, you know, if I hadn't used Slimeify so many times. It seems to have a pretty costly uh, thing attached to it. The Acid Blob evaporates and reforms as a golden dragon. So does that mean I could actually attack that now? Because that's not a slime anymore, so I don't think Jeevia would get mad at me, comically enough. So I wonder if I could... It'll probably turn back into its original form. I was going to say maybe I could get like golden dragon armor or something from that. I'm not going to try to... No. <laughs> I mean, maybe. It should Actually, it should warn me, shouldn't it? Yeah, if we see him again, we'll try it. Oh, look. So green eggs and slam. I don't know if you knew this would happen, but... Jeevia and B-Crawl lets you have permanent allies, right? So now Zom is polymorphing my permanent allies into other shit. So we're going to get a big army of permanent allies. High hit dice permanent allies, in fact. And uh, maybe have some fun with that. It's pretty cool, yeah. Okay. The Amulet of Intellectual Checkmate. Uh, Spirit, RF+, plus, RC++, plus, plus, Int+, plus 4. That's a little bit hard to turn down, even compared to plus 5 SH. Uh, I mean, I, I gotta wear this thing. Uh, 
Oh, that's insulation. Cool. That's uh, our luck. Really good ring. By the way, I've been messing up by not trying these rings on. That's correct, Green Eggs and Slam. At one point I had 30 AC, um, but then I put on a robe and unfortunately lost most of my mutations. Okay, I'm going to blow a Slimeify even though I'm trying to get my piety up here. Did that Etten just murder my Shock Serpent? He sure did. Yeah, see, I can't... I can't transform his ass, man. Whoa! That was, um... Oh yeah, the Ogre Mage can berserk my boy here. Um, that's okay. That's okay. That's fine if he does that. We have a easy out. Boom! That's right. Scattershot exists. Yeah, dude, we can't even we can't even slimeify the the two-headed ogre, can we? I know we finally did it. Okay. We just need more piety, that's all it is. Or excuse me, more uh, invocations. Also, this guy popped out of me from taking damage. I guess um, even the ones that pop out of you are not temporary. Just kidding. Yeah, they are. We need 27 invo. Well, this would be the... I suppose this would be the species to fool around and test that. <laughs> uh... By the way, I just remembered the reason why there's so much shit here uh, is that there's only one floor of orc. I didn't think I was on orc too, but technically I am. Orc 4, based. Somebody's old school, Tony. But yeah, if you want, uh, what we could do just for f just for fun is uh, we could just like go straight for <laughs> we could just go straight for invocations twenty seven. It's definitely not optimal, but it could be fun. Yeah, I saw the storm scales. But I would actually rather have um, lightning rod today. Alright, it is a little silly that I'm that I'm still inside of this robe. I'm I'm gonna drop it. Hmm. Can't get that plate mail yet. Large shield. Well, uh we should be wearing the medium shield actually. How do you guys like the fact that cursed items just disintegrate in mainline now if you try to play Ash and Zari? And abandon. <laughs> or if you try to remove curse on uh, one of them, they just fall apart. Yeah. There's no more curse in mainline unless you worship Ash and Zari, and then if you try to take off cursed items uh, under Ash and Zari, they just fall apart. Pretty stupid. I think I think it's secretly them like punishing people for finding a way around Evering's bullshit. Evering's uh trap extravaganza. Uh I don't want to say for sure cuz I haven't experienced it myself Tony, but yes, that's that's how it was described to me, I should say. No, I'm pretty reasonably sure they they didn't bother to give a buff for that. Why am I confused? Probably Tarantella. Best change in the game. <laughs> oh yeah. 
Yeah, Ash, Ash and Zari was resistance to Ebering's, like, horribly stupid design ideas, but... I mean, I guess you have to pay the price now. I love these fun new mechanics. They're definitely being set up by people who have an idea of what they're doing. And don't just sort of have a dartboard that they throw things at while drunk. This is the change I'm going to make today. Yeah, someone in my Discord was complaining that they abandoned uh, Ash and Zari and then all of their items just fell apart or something like that. Okay, this is annoying, but I have RF++, so you know what's going to happen today? Big boom, baby! Uh, wait a minute. I have powered by death, so I'm in no danger at all here. I'm just regenerating like a madman now. I'm essentially cheating with these demon spawn mutations. <laughs> just healing five points per turn like a madman if I kill enough things. It's crazy. Although that used to, believe it or not, that used to be an even better ability. Um, because what it would do is... Uh, like instantly heal you, you know. Shit, I'm too corroded. So at least now it's on a timer. If I recall correctly, it used to be like the best way to do ziggurats. Still pretty goddamn good, I imagine. Orange crystal statue, huh? Based higher level powered by death. Okay, you know what? Uh, let's just go into slime real fast. Throw down a DCSS trunk ash and sorry request stream. Oh no. I mean, honestly, I'll I'll end up. We can just look it up at some point, you know. We don't need to play a whole game to see that. And if it's not completely ruined, I'll probably go Ash and Zari on, uh, on just like a street game at some point, you know? Okay, they ate all the other stuff. Oh, that's a free rune, I suppose. Speed sling, but I, I can't bring myself to care about a speed sling. How about that plate armor? Another plus zero artifact. Boo! Also with RF minus. But hey, we got a rune for zero work. That's kind of cool. If we had cash, we could buy the shadow dragon scales and use the enchant armor to uh, enchant it up and then go into the trove. So we'll probably save those. Drop the enchant weapon. We'll never need that. Okay, cool. This is a pretty good, uh, pretty good stopping point. Um, can I enchant my claws? Wouldn't that be nice? Interesting run so far. Uh, next time, we're gonna we're gonna push invocations up uh, super duper super duper high. Uh, not really optimal, but we're gonna do it for fun anyway. Um, and we're gonna fool around with slimeify. I do really wish we could have some idea of what the chance of uh, what the chance of it working is, but, um, what are my DS mutations? Really, really good ones. Um, we, we have, uh, well, we got, we got, the thing is we luckily got a monstrous, um, demon spawn. So we have three physical facets. So we've got claws, we've got hooves, and we've got antennae. So a bunch of ox attacks with the hooves. Oh, well, I guess some ox attacks with the hooves. And then with the claws, we get, you know, a really good reason to go unarmed combat. Uh, and since Green Eggs and Slam here suggested that he would like it if I went transmutations if possible, this is a good stepping stone to that. If I ever get stat form online, that'd be pretty sick. Um, we got powered by death, which heals us when we kill enough things. We got powered by pain, which um, 
gives us might and agility and stuff when we take damage. And then we got spines in the early game. So this is pretty, pretty close to a perfect... I don't know if there's any such thing as a perfect demon spawn mutation set, but this is pretty goddamn close. Like, spines alone will see you through the early game just because things will sort of die instantly as they attack you. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't I don't think that Monstrous is uh, really optimal, but uh, the fact that we got Claws is pretty great. I mean, this, this kind of robs us of two, uh, well, actually three slots eventually, gloves, uh, boots, and helmet. But I'm not going to sit here and complain about that because I was going unarmed combat anyway, um, just as part of the conduct. So this is uh, really quite great. Anytime you get claws is great. Under whatever circumstances, I, I don't care. Claws is just really good to have. Um, these are special GV mutations, by the way. I'm hoping that Zom gives us a whole bunch more mutations as time goes on. But um, you know what I might do? Before we quit, I want to see something. How does uh, Evolve work these days? Oh, no. No, 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 no. That's weird. You feel weaker, you feel agile. Is it doing the same thing each time? You feel weaker, you feel clever, you feel agile. Is it because I haven't trained armor? It's probably because I have dodging train, but not armor. So, I, I, would, I would humbly suggest that Oh, oh, it randomly swaps. Okay, never mind. I was going to say, I was going to suggest that you have a little work to do on this, but I guess if it's random, that's that's acceptable because then you just you just trade your piety for it and until it hits levels that you're happy with. <laughs> I guess I'm just going to leave it like this because I don't want to mess with it anymore and risk uh, something bad happening, but... Um, Why 12? 12 what now? Oh, 12 runes. Yeah, um... Well, it's not just going to force me to go to hell. It's going to force me to go to, uh... To Pan before level 27. Because in this in this game, uh... Well, wait, hold on. Let's see. Uh, let's take a look at the runes. Uh... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10... Yeah, so I have to get at least two pan runes. Um, right, so that means I really have to make sure I go into pan before... Uh, well, actually, you know, that's true. Uh, BH Auth did the thing that I requested, which is you can now go into pan if you want to uh, after level 27, but only if you've already picked up the Orb of Zot. So, um... 12 runes during the Orb run is what he meant. <laughs> Uh, oh boy, that would be interesting. That would be an interesting run. Not impossible, but it's not something I'm... I don't think it's something that I would be able to do with this with this set of gods. I, I probably could, actually, but I would have to farm a lot of experience to make it work. Um, save that for another run. Oh my god. The the ultimate... Uh, what is that? Isn't that like a... Isn't that called a greater orb run? Or something like that? Where you you have to get like all of your... <laughs> you have to get all of your uh, your runes on the orb run except for the first three that are required to get into to Zot. There's some challenge. I swear it's called... I think it's called Greater Orb Run. Players who have gotten 15 runes and one after picking up the orb with three. Uh, yeah, you can't enter. Fine. Nick Greater Orb Runners. Uh, Mibby, KLSH78012, Irum, Salmon25, Yermak is there. I recommend, I, I, re I recognize that person. I recognize Cobaldina. I recognize Kunix, Power Mode, uh, <laughs> Titty Crusher. I do recognize that name. Uh, Jeff, I think I recognize, of course, Man Man. Um, Jeevia, Jeevia Jigglypuff. I don't recognize anybody else. I swear I... Did I do this at some point? Is it, I swear there's a command or something. Greater Orb Run, Malcolm Rose. I guess we're going to have to do this, my friends. <laughs> and make it happen.
Uh, but that's for another uh, another time. This is a, well, no, we're not going to do it on this run, but uh, we're going to do it on if I'm forced to play mainline at some point, then perhaps uh, on a, on a request stream we'll do it. I could do it on the streak for for ultimate uh, Chad points. Anyway, yeah, um, that is going to be it for the stream. Uh, we have been at this for a little while. We got our first rune. We uh, cleared Lair and Orc, which is a pretty good, uh, pretty good stopping point, I think. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Until next time, I am signing out. Did you know that there are many ways that you can help support this channel? Read about them on rosecrypto.com support. At Rose Crypto, you can learn all about cool things like the Brave web browser, Bitcoin, and other cryptocurrencies. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe.